Yes, hi friends, Doc South here with you, and while I'm still uh, pretty much basking in the glow of the festivities uh, the, for the 4th of July that I, I participated in um, over in Washington, New Jersey, a neighboring town, uh, probably only about five miles from uh, where I'm sitting now, and uh, a lovely town that has really a great idea when it comes to 4th of July. Oh my gosh. Well, they just pull out the stops. That's what they do. Go nuts is pretty a good way. I think that's probably the order of the day. Go nuts for the good old USA. <laughs> they, uh, they really, really turn on the steam is all I can say. Uh, in the morning, of course, they, uh, I, I'm reporting now. This is now what? Uh, I don't know. This is a couple days after the 4th of July. And they... Uh, they, they, they're probably already thinking about next year. Maybe not quite yet. They're probably still sleeping a little. Uh, but as soon as they wake up, you know, as soon as they get a day or two's worth of rest, I believe they start figuring out, you know, how, what they're going to do uh, next year. Probably have a meeting, you know, where they can improve, etc. cetera. And uh, although I don't see how they can improve, what they're doing is absolutely perfect. May they do this for 100 years more. Let's hope. But, you know, like in the morning, they have the uh, soapbox derby. I hear that went well. Um, you know, kids uh, uh, careening down a hill in their little uh, in their uh, soapbox racers. Yeah, and it's a long ride down and a fairly steep hill. Those kids are moving out when they, uh, <laughs> when they, <laughs> when they cross the finish line. And it's quite an honor to win. It's an honor just to be in it, you know, and... Uh, I know that that's something kind of near and dear to my heart because I always, I was always as a kid, always working on a buggy. I would definitely be in this if, uh, uh, if I were, if I were a whole lot younger. I oh gosh yes. Oh, uh, they ought to have a grown-up one. Yeah, I mean, well, just a thought. Uh, but then they'd be there all day. You know, they got other things to do at the uh, at the. Uh, on the 4th of July there, you know, that can't be hours and hours and hours on a soapbox derby, but that boy that in the morning though, the kids are just, Oh, they're, you can see the look in their faces on their faces. Uh, the kids, they're just, I might just win, but you know, I think he just competing is the cool part. And yes, yeah, some of them go careening out <laughs> into the stands and stuff. But again, I don't think anyone's ever gotten hurt uh, horribly. More, oh, gee, I didn't win kind of stuff. But, you know, hey, they competed. And that's the big thing. That's the big thing. And uh, I'm sure shook hands with the winner. And uh, we're making plans for uh, their improved racer for next year. Uh, yeah. All in all, a good thing. The, and I believe the winning, uh, the winning um, car, I think, gets put on a... A flatbed. I could be wrong on this. Or maybe last year's winning car gets put on a flatbed and is in the parade, has a spot of honor. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure. But again, there you go. That takes up most of the morning. Of course, all the merchants are opened up and uh, you know, the, the restaurants cooking away and you know, people are walking around town. And then uh, wonder of wonders, there's a parade, and a darn good parade at that, a long one. Oh, my gosh. And uh, that usually ends up about where I'm setting up uh, by that time of day. When the parade's over, it kind of ends where I'm setting up to uh, play music for the uh, fireworks. But that parade, oh, my gosh. You know, you can hear it from miles away, bands going and people marching and cheering from the sidelines, and it's, you know... All sorts of, uh, it's a fairly long parade, near as I can tell. And it gives everybody a chance to, you know, when the flag goes by to stand up and salute or put their hand over their heart or cheer. It's, it's, it's pretty neat, pretty neat. And then you got, um, after that, well, they, uh, they work on, uh, of course, the, um, uh, the fireworks setting up for them. They uh, got hours of work to do setting up for it, you know, setting up the refreshment stand. That's something I, I kind of wanted to say. You know, the, the, I think it's the Cub Scouts run the refreshment stand at the, um, at the fireworks. I think it's 
Oh, it's things like, uh, oh, gosh, well, funnel cakes, you know, stuff like that. Funnel cakes, deep fried Oreos. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, the grown ups do this. Yeah. They, uh, they keep the kids away from the grease, but I think the kids help one way or another, you know. And all in all, that raises money for the Cubs, Cub Scouts. That's pretty cool. And, uh, and it, it feeds the crowd coming to the, uh, to the uh, fireworks. I think some of them bring their own snacks, but still, you know, they can go get a bottle of water from the Cubs. And uh, there you are. It's, uh, and, and you know, I mean, as the parade is going on, there's people setting up the big cooking tent uh, for, the, uh, for, the, uh, for the Cub Scouts. And that's no picnic. Oh, my gosh, all the things they got to bring in, the cookers and stuff and the tent. and Oh, boy. But they're working on that. Um, and then eventually, yeah, it, it starts to uh, approach uh, evening. And here come the, uh, the people to watch the fireworks. And that's almost like a big old uh, lawn party. Everybody's out there just having themselves a time. Kids are kicking you know, soccer balls around or they're, they're off somewhere where they're not going to cause any trouble and they're uh, playing tag or uh, grown-ups are sitting and talking with one another. Teenagers are kind of, you know, the guys are kind of looking at the girls and the girls are kind of looking at the guys. And they, yeah, it's, it, it's a great social event and very, usually very crowded. Um, I would think, I'm guessing around a thousand people must attend. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but it, it, it's pretty wild. You got the fireworks guys are setting up their stuff. That's always fun to watch and doggone. Then, uh, yeah, then they have me play some oldies. They have another DJ uh, uh, at the far corner of the field because the field's so darn big. You, you can have two uh, separate styles of music playing, which I think is pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. And uh, like that, it's, it's absolutely amazing. What a great thing to see. And it, again, Funds raised for, uh, for next year, of course, and I think also some charities, near as I know. And uh, I'm, I'm just honored uh, that they uh, asked me to do it. Uh, as I get older, I don't know if I'm the world's greatest uh, DJ, but I, I still am I'm one of the happiest uh, when I'm there. Oh, my heavens, yes. Oh, my heavens, yes. So uh, there you go. God bless those people. That was just absolutely fantastic what they did for everybody. I'll have some more stories about uh, uh, the, the big day uh, for you. I, I think I got more, at least one more in me, and uh, we'll, we'll get that out to you in a, in a tad. Okay? I'll see you later, friends. God bless. You know what? Yeah. I... No, I'll make the Lord's Prayer a moment uh, for my next story. Okay, yeah, because that one is kind of... Uh, kind of touching, actually very touching. I'll see you later, friends. Thank you, and oh, God bless. Bye now.